Let's, we will study static analysis using a tool called Splint. Let's just look at a very small piece of code. We have int star ptr and we just print the value star ptr. The point is a small code review or a small analysis by some tool can detect this accidental error. Okay, so static analysis tools basically take one small file or maybe a large repository having a lot of files and they analyze the code and uh, help us find certain potential bug. Why they are called static? Because the code is static or stationary. The code is not running. So they just analyze it and then they give their report. It is contrasted with uh, dynamic tools like Valgrind, which run the code and then they report that did some memory block leak or did an invalid memory access happen. How do we use Splint? So in case it is not installed in your Linux system, you can install using this command, sudo apt install splint. It catches a lot of errors. Some of them are indicated here. We will look these in the example codes, which we will see, but it catches many more. So we may not be indicating all the kind of error. We have these sp1 to sp5.c. Those are the programs which we will use. So how do you use splint? You simply say splint and then you write the program name or file name. It's a small code, so it's one file. If you have multiple files, you can give all the .c file names here. This is the file and we have a variable x and we directly print it. So let's see what splint has to say. So it says variable x used before definition. Splint has a different uh, terminology. So definition just means that it's initialized. So that's not initialized, has so variable x used before definition. It is not initialized. Let me open the next program and sp2.c. This is the code. Instead of equality check, we are doing assignment operator by mistake. So splint catches it, splint sp2.c. So it says test expression for if is assignment expression. Many of the errors are also caught by the compiler when you use that minus w all option. But splint catches more than that. So this one we agree. Then it says something more test expression for if not boolean. It is of the type int. Now for many warnings splint would say that you can use this to inhibit that warning because some of the warnings of splint we may call false alarms. They are not problems. If something in the if condition I'm using if int, no, no problem. That should be okay. If you feel that some warnings are absolutely fine with you, you can suppress them or inhibit them using the appropriate corresponding options. Let's proceed further. sp3.c. We are converting an integer to a string. In one we convert to this literal string one, two we convert to two and so on. So splint sp3.c. Now it says fall through case at line number 17. 17 is this one. It, it is just warning us that we are falling through. Is it intentional or not? In this case, this fall through was unintentional. If we run it for value two, we don't want to fall through to the three. We were supposed to have a break at line number 16. Observer storage return without qualification. Returning the constant char star, it has some reservations, some reservations. Then it is saying new fresh storage passed as implicitly temp. Memory leak has been detected. So what it is saying is that this function come to string returned a char star but main did not free it i tend to disagree with this comment memory leak because we never allocated it it is a string literal we, we played with my experience has been that if we are returning pointers spent sometimes may be saying a leak in case where it is not a leak we need to judge report of spent and see whether it is true or not then it says another thing function exported but not used outside this. So it is just saying that if a function is not required outside this file, then you could make it static. Don't export it. It's up to you. If you find it unnecessary putting that static, 
you can avoid it also not you can ignore some warning source paint also okay let's see next one main calls this function do something and do something returns a care star and it returns address of a local variable this local is a local array so when the function do something returns and the stack frame of do something is destroyed then this memory is no more because that frame is no more so the ret will be pointing to beyond the stack area sprint is able to catch it and if we run sprint it says stack allocated storage local reachable from return value in different words the terminology may be different but it's saying the same thing and again it talks of memory leak etc which i really don't agree there was no malloc so of course there is no leak let's see the next one here we have a int star ptr and directly we print star ptr let's see sprint sp5.c it says variable ptr used before definition that, that's correct ptr is uninitialized now i improve things a bit i give ptr a space ptr is now actually an array of one integer and uh, i say star ptr so but the value is uninitialized right the array is proper but star ptr is uninitialized so if i now run it So now you can see that value star ptr used before definition. Now it's saying that ptr is defined, but star ptr is not defined. Earlier it was saying variable ptr is not defined. So in that sense, these are very useful things. If you are interested in knowing more, there are references, there are manuals. So it, it's not a very actively maintained project splint, but it is still a good project and it's useful. There may be other counterparts. If you have some other commercial tool for static analysis, you may use that. If you have nothing, Splint is one good option.